All right, you lot, let's talk about getting the Assault Ruffles gold within Vanguard. As you know, I'm on that atomic grind to get every single weapon in the game gold before Vanguard's integration with Warzone. That's the plan anyway. It's going to come out in a few months, and that's what I'm going to plan on doing. So I'll be doing a mini-series on every single gun that I actually get gold, and I'm going to be telling you the best loadout for it on Vanguard's multiplayer. Now, getting the Assault Rifles gold is relatively easy, but it's just way more grindy. I don't think I've ever kind of expected this kind of grind in any Call of Duty, but you have 10 challenges you need to complete. But of course, you'll need to get this weapon max level to have all of the challenges available, which is, you know, the downfall of it, like any other Call of Duty when you're trying to grind gold for it. First thing is make sure you're using a operator for that type of gun that's going to give you bonus experience. I think there's only a few here that do give AR experience. So as you level him up, he's going to give you STG experience. And I'm pretty sure that you get bonus experience when using his favorite gun. That in combination with any double weapon XP tokens that you've got, it's one of the annoying things of leveling gold for a certain gun. Now let's go over some of the challenges. The first gun that I actually got gold was the Itra Burst. Now I want you guys to actually bear in mind right now that a few of these challenges are going to be glitched for you. The STG, for example, wasn't tracking stuff. I think this is happening with quite a lot of people as well. Some challenges are going to work, some aren't. You know, there's challenges here with like the grenade launcher where that's not tracking properly. So if it's not working, just leave it alone until it gets patched and just come back to it. I had a challenge for the automaton, which basically said that I needed to equip a assassin proficiency perk. I go to the proficiency, there isn't anything here called assassin bit weird obviously a glitch that they're gonna have to patch through so if you come across a challenge on a gun that's not working just skip past it and the very first challenge that you need to do is get 400 eliminations with a gun self-explanatory you're gonna do that anyway then next you've got surgical which is get 100 headshots now if the gun is pretty underpowered which the itra burst actually was you can move into the hardcore playlist for them guaranteed one hit headshots but if you're not a fan of hardcore just aim above the chest and naturally after time it goes for the head anyway there are a few barrels that you can actually put on it that does increase headshot damage i mean look the itra burst has one here that you unlock later on so if you're really struggling and you don't want to play hardcore that's your other option there third challenge is predatory ambition where you're going to need to get multi kills now multi kills can be anything from a double to a triple or a quad i'm always playing on a blitz playlist so i'm going to have them huge kind of ground war type things i always put hard point or patrol and they're my favorite where everyone's going to be bundled up in one location especially on hard point or patrol and you can take them out or at least you know at the minimum get a double kill again you've got the das house playlist where you can go into here it's basically it's not shipment, but it's the closest you're going to get to shipment right now. If you go in hardcore on that, you're easily going to get double kills with it. The fourth assault rifle challenge that you need to do is called Reptilian, and you need to get five kills without dying 30 times. If you're sweaty, this is going to be a walk in the park for most of you. If not, and you're struggling a little bit with this, then play extra campy with your guns. Build them appropriately for the situations you're in. If you want to play the Blitz playlist, you know, maybe patrol hardpoint, sit somewhere mounted and guarding the patrol points from a distance, you know, you're going to get this done over time naturally. And guys, if you are enjoying my Vanguard content, then please hit like on a video. It's going to help my channel out a lot and it's going to help all my other videos get pushed out. So, so smash subscribe, smash like. I'm going to bring out the best guides for you. I love you. Now, the fifth challenge is Deadeye. More kind of grindy depending on what the game mode is. But you need to get 100 long shots now for the itra burst this gun was extremely weak where i had to go into hardcore and then build the gun basically like a sniper rifle i had to put increased bullet velocity and range on it i had to just make it into a certain gun which you know was going to be fine into the long shot distance and that is a really good thing about these vanguard weapons you can create them from any scenarios you can turn them into smgs you can turn them into huge long range weapons whatever tickles your fancy you can build it on this thing and the range damage does play a huge part in this game so if you're not on hardcore make sure you're you're adding that on as much as you can pretty weak in core then yeah you're most likely gonna have to go into that hardcore playlist i'm sorry boys but you're gonna have to do it there's certain maps that have stuff like a church on it you can get up here or even going into most hallways is actually going to do the job and if you can get mounted even better less recoil on a weapon and it's going to make it easier to pop people into long distance although for long shots on the assault rifle it definitely feels a lot shorter than the previous call of duty just killing someone into that long mid range kind of seems to work anyway just look out for the indicator just letting you know if it's a long shot and if it is you can keep yourself in a nice little campy spot the sixth challenge is berserk which i think is probably one of the harder ones to get done here 
especially for the Itra burst, you need to get 100 point blank kills and you're going to need to be in pretty close proximity for it to count. But you'll know when you do get this because just like the long shots, you're going to get a notification on the screen telling you it's a point blank kill. Again, like the long shot kills, build the gun for most close range battle, increase the fire rate, adding recoil boosters on it, any barrel that you can find that's going to increase the fire rate, stuff like that, which is going to kill people quicker in close proximity. There is a map called Das House, which will be absolutely clutch for every challenge pretty much. The spawns are pretty messed and it does make it a little bit easy. If you are going into hardcore, slap on ninja so your footsteps are silent and just run around flaking snipers around the map using recons and UAVs to give you a heads up where people are. If you've got a few campers, you can normally sneak up really close to them and pop them off with that. The seventh challenge is Wildcat. Very easy. You just need to get 250 eliminations with 10 attachments. Not really much else to say. Slap on every attachment and you're good for the grind. Now the eighth, ninth and tenth challenge are going to be a little bit different from what we've seen in other Call of Duty games. And it does make these challenges even more grindy than what they are. These challenges make you build the weapon with certain attachments and then give you a challenge. For example, the Bloom challenge, I'd have to build the Itra. I'd have to build this gun with the attachments it was showing me and then get hit fire kills with it. But I do suggest doing multiple challenges at once. So let's say you're getting point blank kills along with the Bloom challenge, then it's perfect. Hit fire kills, point blank range, and you know, you need to get 100 kills with both. Two birds, one stone. Looking at the ninth challenge, I needed to get aim down sight kills with certain attachments. Some being with proficiency perks and others being like a barrel or a stock change. And now some of these challenges on these guns do vary. I mean, you've got some with that are quite easy. Something that'll be like, you know, maybe you've got to get hip fire kills. And then with the bar, I had to get 100 bullet penetration kills with certain attachments. And I mean, compared to getting hit fire kills or long shots, some people would consider this a lot harder. So be prepared for these challenges, guys. You want me to bring mini guides on stuff like that? Like, you know, how to get 100 FMJ kills with the bar? I can do it for you if you need it. Just leave a comment and I'll make it. The 10th challenge on the weapon that I was getting was called Death Artist. And I needed to get quick scope kills with certain build attachments. Quick scoping meaning I needed to aim down sight and within a few seconds of that time frame, get a kill and it was a little bit painful seeing out of time for the kill with this weapon actually does suck anyway but in hardcore and over time i got it completed and once you finish them all you've got gold for your selected gun the ar challenges are not too bad but they're extremely grindy i do think the hardcore playlists and that dust house map is going to come in clutch here obviously when shipments available it's going to be even easier but if you're a fan of the content i'm bringing out make sure you smash like make sure you subscribe to me i'm going to be going over all of the builds after i got the guns gold so you can see what crazy attachments i actually was using on these guns i mean this is the itra burst i've made it basically full automatic and is it meta well you just gonna have to wait for me to release a video on it i'll be covering smgs shotguns lmgs and launchers actually in fat boys i gotta tell you say actually the mk11 launcher i've almost got every single triple kill i mean what was it i needed 50 triple kills for this i think two more and i'm done with this thing jesus christ the launchers i don't know they're painful right now but i'll go over them in another video the videos helped let me know and as always i'll see you lot later